Good afternoon, my name is Luis Chiapi and it is my honor and pleasure to welcome you to the 15th anniversary of Healthcare Heroes. When we first came up with the idea of having an award to recognize the healthcare heroes of our communities, it was because we play such a vital role in working with these professionals and institutions in South Florida and we realize the incredible work that they do for our community. Not only is the entire program phenomenal, but we thought a number of years back that it would be a great idea to come up with the AXA Lifetime Achievement Award, recognizing that one individual on an annual basis that had an incredible, profound effect in the healthcare community, in the healthcare industry, and of course as a byproduct in our community. And it has been our pleasure to partner with the Greater Miami Chamber of Commerce and to celebrate here today the 15th anniversary. And it gives me a lot of personal satisfaction to know and to see how far this program has come and the success that we've had in recognizing you here today. So now enjoy the luncheon and get ready for incredible moving stories of what people, our healthcare heroes, are doing in our community today. Many say seeing is believing, but for those who have watched a child gain the sense of hearing for the first time, hearing is believing, believing that a whole new world of possibilities suddenly exists. And one person they can thank for this new world is Dr. Thomas Balcony, who remembers what it was like as a child to be healed by a caring doctor. I was born at the Coral Gables Hospital in Miami and grew up here. When I was about 12 years old, I had a uh, problem uh, and I went to the primary doctor and I was felt better immediately. And from that point on, I wanted to be that guy that could help people. And he set off in doing just that. During medical school at the University of Miami, Dr. Balcony got to observe fascinating work done by renowned surgeon, Dr. James Chandler, who was on the leading edge of microscopic surgery. I thought that was just the best thing ever. And uh, at that point, I thought, you know, I really want to operate with a microscope. Well, I did my residency at the University of Colorado and just learned a tremendous amount uh, about the medical and surgical practice of otolaryngology. And then I did some special training in cochlear implants in Los Angeles at the House Ear Clinic and my teacher there was Dr. William House who was the great pioneer in cochlear implant work. Dr. Balcony had found his calling and he would go forward to change thousands of lives with his own pioneering work. He first started an implant program in Colorado and was there in private practice for a decade when University of Miami came calling. I came back in 1990 and my job at that time was to create and start the University of Miami Ear Institute. He's an individual who has uh, committed his entire career to go and rescue the kids who are, are lost in a world with no sound in the late 80s, early 90s. He was creating really as the operation was going on in the OR. He started to make these devices that could um, uh, curl up where the nerve is, uh, that collects the information from sound uh, to bring that information to the brain. The device that uh, can transform sound into electricity uh, and the wonders of electronics, you restore hearing. He invented a lot of the techniques. He was the pioneer and inventor who initially uh, had the the guts and the courage of moving that technology forward. Well, there are many senses in the body, but only one has ever been replaced by a computer. The average patient who understands no words after cochlear implant is, is able to understand between 80 and 90 percent of what they hear. After the implant operation, we let healing occur and then we turn on the, the cochlear implant and at the same time have to program each of the channels in the cochlear implant specifically for that child's brain. 
And uh, when, when that happens um, and the first sounds come in, the child will usually show surprise, look in the direction of his or her mother, and the family understands that for the first time their child is hearing. I first knew him through a story in the Herald, and I wanted to meet that man who made such a difference in the lives of, of children. And then years later, uh, became my ear doctor. He's a simply wonderful person to be around, and he is this international authority who's made this stunning difference in an extraordinary number of children's lives and futures. This community is blessed to have him. Dr. Balcony's list of achievements, awards, and accolades is immense. They include 14 U.S. and international patents, authoring more than 300 scientific publications, training more than 300 surgeons to perform implant surgery. He's received honors throughout the world for his life-changing work. Uh, Tom and I have crossed paths for many, many uh, years, and he has tremendous integrity. Uh, he is giving of his expertise. He writes prolifically. Tom has written three books. He has over 180 uh, different articles in referees journals. He has over a million dollars worth of grants. He has 14 patents. Uh, I don't know of anybody that comes close to that and as an otolaryngologist. All of my colleagues at the Institute have worked very diligently over the years. We've First and foremost, implanted somewhere close to 2,000 patients. About half were children who were born deaf, and about half were adults, most of whom had hearing and then went deaf. On the research side, we've been tightly focused on hearing conservation during cochlear implantation. We uh, have a family resource center called the Barton G Kids Here Now Family Resource Center, and we have uh, psychologists and uh, speech language pathologists who do auditory verbal therapy and, uh, and an audiologist. Our primary goal is to help people, and we do that one patient at a time. For the tenacity, and the entrepreneurship that it took for him to bring this technology to, to medicine and to make it available to, you know, thousands, millions of patients. And also for his extraordinary uh, compassion, I have to say that Tom Barton is a true hero. I'm most proud to see the children who had cochlear implants becoming adults now, having their own families and going off to college. You would never know that they had any problem with communication before. It just makes me feel as wonderful as you could feel. AXA Advisors, 2012 Healthcare Heroes Lifetime Achievement Honoree, Thomas J. Balcony.